Hey everyone, Cressy here, and at Lombard Seafood Grill is Universal Studios Florida's flagship restaurant located right on the waterfront in the San Francisco area of Universal. So if you are thinking of making a reservation at this beautiful restaurant, I'm gonna go over all of the details. So let's get into it. Lombard Seafood Grill is one of two table service restaurants in Universal Studios, with the other being Finnegan's Bar and Grill located in the New York area. The original name for this restaurant was Lombard's Landing, which still appears on the signage above the restaurant and also over the entrance doorway. The Lombard name is a nod to the famous Lombard Street, which is the iconic twisty, crooked street that you can find in San Francisco. The outside theming of Lombard Grill is made to replicate the famous Fisherman's Wharf in San Francisco, complete with boats in the harbor and seagulls ready to steal your food. The inside of the restaurant is themed to look like an 1880s laboratory inhabited by a fictitious marine biologist, Louis Lombard. You can find the nautical theming all throughout the restaurant from when you first walk into the lobby. There are model ships and ship artwork all along the brick walls. There's also intricate chandeliers, railings, and if you look up the stairs, you can find this beautiful stained glass artwork on the ceiling. As you make your way further into the dining room, there's also a lovely fish fountain. And when you enter the dining room, you'll immediately notice the giant fish tank in the center of the room. All around the room, there's also more model ships and artwork that coincide with the brick walls and towering archways. The appetizer options here include everything from shrimp cocktail, calamari, tuna poke, spinach and artichoke dip, and a roasted vegan edamame as a vegan option. We started our meal with two appetizers. First was the calamari, which is always one of my favorite go-tos in any seafood restaurant. The calamari comes lightly battered and fried along with some homemade marinara sauce, which was delicious. The second appetizer that we ordered was the tuna poke. The tuna poke is a sushi grade ahi tuna marinated in soy garlic sauce, frise lettuce, scallions, tomatoes, avocado, wasabi, red onion, cucumber, crispy nori chips with furikake seasoning. In addition to the appetizers, we also ordered a couple of frozen slushy drinks, including the strawberry frozen slush, as well as the lemonade frozen slush, which is a refreshing treat if you're visiting over the summer. And by the way, if you are finding this information helpful, I would love it if you would hit that like button and subscribe if you would like to get more ideas like this to do in my beautiful state of Florida. I release a new video every week and the best way to be able to see them is by subscribing. The entree choices include both surf and turf options, and during our visit, the seafood options included the catch of the day, the fisherman's basket, and shrimp alfredo. And the turf options included everything like the filet mignon, the burger, and the grilled chicken. For our first entree, I couldn't help but order the Lombard's Lobster Roll. The Lombard's Lobster Roll is a North Atlantic lobster served with Dijon mayonnaise, shredded lettuce on a toasted split soft roll, and served with house-made seasoned potato chips. We also got the filet mignon, which is a six ounce grilled black Angus beef tenderloin that's served with roasted Brussels sprouts, sweet potatoes, butternut squash, and a Bordelais sauce. And both of these dishes were delicious. The filet mignon was cooked perfectly and the lobster was really nice and tender. We finished our meals with a couple of desserts. And during our visit, the dessert options included everything from key lime pie, a seasonal cheesecake, devil's food cake, and a mocha pyramid. One of the first things that we had to try was the strawberry cheesecake, which was delicious and comes with a classic graham cracker crust and whipped topping. 
The next thing that I wanted to try was the mocha pyramid, which is this layered cake with coffee flavored buttercream and chocolate ganache. And if you love coffee, anything, you will really enjoy this cake. If you are considering having a meal at Lombard's, reservations are recommended. You can make reservations online or by calling. You can also see if there are reservations available at the dining reservation kiosk at the very front of the park. However, I didn't see getting a table at Lombard's very difficult if you are willing to wait a little bit for one to become available. There is outside seating here as well as a walkway that runs all along the building. It's a really peaceful area to head to if you're just looking to get away from the crowds for a moment or two. You can come back here and enjoy the lakeside view and get a photo with this fisherman statue in the very back. If you've made it this far in the video, I would love to hear from you on Instagram at Krista Travels, where I release daily content on all of the videos that I'm currently working on. If you're looking for even more restaurants to check out while visiting Universal and CityWalk, then you'll want to check out the playlist that just popped up on the screen. In this playlist, I've got everything from this incredible steampunk theme chocolate emporium to the mystical restaurant mythos that you can find at Islands of Adventure. Until next time, everyone, I hope you have an amazing day and go out and enjoy some Florida sunshine.